Okay, uh, let's take a look at this data visualizations assignment. Um, I'm not going to give you all the answers for it, but I want to make sure that you're, you've got everything you need to get started on the assignment. Um, make sure that the assistant editor is showing the live view in the right-hand side of the window. That means, so click on this little thingy up here and make sure there's a check mark next to live view. If there's not, then select it again so that there's a check mark there. So it should look like this. Okay, and then uh, also I'm going to set mine to, um, I'm going to hold, click and hold down here and set it to manually run. It just seems to work better for my my system. And that means that when I want it to compile, I just click the play button over here instead of it just automatically executing. All right, let's click the button to move on to the next. It says try modifying some parameter to see how they affect the look of the chart. Okay, so I'm waiting to see the chart over here. I'm going to hit play and see if it compiles. Yep, it does. Okay, cool. So there's the chart, and so it wants you to do is to modify some stuff. So now these um these parameters here, see how there's like a dot in front of them? Dot red, dot yellow, dot blue. That means that they're a part of um well they're a part of a structure or an enum that already exists. And uh, basically, what it means is that you uh, you don't have to define what red is. Red's already defined somewhere else. So when you change these, you can just click uh, dot and uh, give yourself some space and then wait a little bit and see there's different options here. And these options are inside of the color structure. So let's make one dark gray. And then let's delete this one and put dot uh, cyan or clear. Now you can't just put like dot whatever, like you can't put like dot fuchsia. I don't even know how to spell fuchsia. Maybe it's like that. Because fuchsia doesn't exist, you know, it's not defined in the color um, structure. There's a way to extend color, um, the structure, and add your own custom colors, but we're not learning that today. Today we're just kind of using what they've got here. So we'll make this one green. And uh, instead of gray, we'll make this one dot. I saw light gray was an option there. So I'm using the arrow key to select others. So where's that light gray? There it is. Okay. And let's run again and see if it changes. Cool. Also, let's change some of these proportions. I wonder if you can like make this 75. I mean, wouldn't that make it over one, like over 100? So if you make it too high, then wouldn't it be taking too much space in the pie chart? I wonder if it'll crash. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like there's some code in there to guard against that happening. I'm going to make this 0, 05 just to see what it looks like if they do less. So I assume all this should add up to like 1, uh, maybe, being like 1 pi, and this is like a portion of the pi. Yeah, see, there's like empty space here. So let's make it so that they're all even. So let's see, 4 divided by, uh, so if you divide 1 in 4 ways, then it's like 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. 0.25 just to see if this works the way I expect it would work and yeah now everything is evenly divided so you get it like one is the whole pie and a portion of it is you know a portion of it so go ahead and fiddle with some settings there okay and then again we're gonna edit with the edit these parameters I'll let you do that on your own and uh, let's see here Create your own data set. You might want to visualize how a 24-hour day you spend in different activities or ask a set to make a pie chart using your own data. Remember, you can create a key using add item with label color function. Okay. So uh, let's do this. So this there's this thing, and see, uh, add key item. You're like, if you're a programmer, you're like, well, where is that defined? Oh, don't worry about it. It's behind the scenes somewhere inside of this um, page. There's some hidden fields that define a function called add, add key item. So we're just going to type add key item and use what they've made for us uh, with the label. It wants the label to be a string. So I'm going to call this uh, my free time and make the color to be dot red. Okay. And uh, what's interesting is like, so if I put parenting here, and uh, color cyan. And then I'll put work here. 
color. Yeah, red works. Actually, blue. Why not? Just to make it different than the free time. Um, play. Now, what's interesting is, so I'm adding all these, but how do I determine how much space they take up, right? It doesn't say how to do that on this page. Yeah, it actually doesn't uh, doesn't show you kind of how to do that on this page, huh? It just says to do it. Make the pie chart. And it doesn't tell you kind of how to add the wedges on this page. Uh, but if you look at the previous page, so go ahead and reference the previous page, you'll see there's a function called add wedge. So you might like take uh, uh, take some of this and uh, uh, paste it over here and then modify it to your own requirements. I've already gone ahead and done that. I've added some of my own proportions. I've matched this color up with the color down here. You know, and, and it's kind of weird that you have to match the red to the red and the cyan to the cyan. This is not like my favorite way of, I think this isn't the best way of doing it, but uh, in the future you'll learn how to make structures and that might help you a little. But I'm actually going to move this stuff so it makes more sense to me. So now it's adding the wedge and then right underneath it, it's adding the key uh, below. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to hit play here and see if this compiles. And yeah, there we go. That's about right. I'm doing a lot of parenting work. Uh, this <laughs> play. Who's doing play? Parenting, work, and app development. Okay, that's more accurate, I think. Uh, okay, and moving on. So the rest of the pages in this assignment are very similar, but in some other pages you have, instead of adding wedges, and key items like the next one is you add a bar instead so they have different functions for different things like this one's the bar graph and so you'll be adding bars instead of uh, wedges so just go ahead and skip through um, edit, edit all the parameters once you to edit and create your own graphs using the code on the previous page as a template for you so hopefully this helps you out a lot um, if you get stuck let me know but uh, I think you got this assignment I, I don't want to give you the whole all the answers to all the pages because I want to see how you'll do, but uh, this should get you started. All right, take care.